Welcome back to Tank Talks. It's been a while. It's been a long while. Uh, we'll go on there a little bit, uh, but we're gonna go well, back to my place. Uh, we're gonna take a look at most of the uh, the reef tanks. We're gonna update most of them. Um, some pretty cool, some not so cool, but I know some people are asking for updates. Uh, may or may not be the update you're looking for or the update I want to give, but c'est la vie. Uh, so we're looking at the seven foot reef today. Uh, I think we added a couple of new things. I think things have really started to grow in. Grow in. Um, I added like 30 super suns here. They don't really open a day, uh, but towards the night they get gigantic and puffy and they have really long tentacles and it's really fun to feed. I just kind of take a mysis cube and just kind of kind of swab them with it. So that's kind of cool. The toadstools are ginormous. I don't know if we can cut in a little photo of when I first got it in. Um, oh, by the way, the tank has reached its one year anniversary on the 23rd of August. So that's pretty cool. And these corals are pretty much in there in the first month. They were maybe about this size. Now they are like huge. I've been thinking of cutting them because I don't know if you can see, but some of the hammers are being shaded and they're not doing, not, you know, they're kind of not doing too well anymore. But uh, I kind of want to see how big they can grow because uh, we can put in another tank uh, eventually and I think it might be pretty fun to see how big they can go. Uh, there's a ginormous elegance here that has sadly killed the clam because my eel has, at night they move around, they shove the clam and I think the elegance had a bit too much taste of clam. So the clam is dead. This one's fine though. This one didn't touch the clam. Didn't touch the elegance. Um, in terms of adding new things, there is an Achilles tank and a banana mori. Um, I don't know where he is. Uh, neither do I know where the zebra is, but I feed them once a week. They come out. That's about it. That's, that's all I get to see them. Um, the Achilles tank is here. They are a bit freaked out because of the ginormous light that we have. Lighting up the tank and I'm standing really close, but we'll hopefully get some B-roll for you guys. Um, Coral seem to be doing pretty happy. I've done nothing but use AFR. That's pretty much it. I don't use anything else. Skimmer, reef mat, AFR. Uh, I don't even test the tank anymore. I don't really have that much algae issues. I clean the glass maybe like every other day. Uh, but I know the PO4 is high because the Montes are not dead, but they're not growing either. Um, so I haven't changed the GFO in a while as well. <laughs> Um, but I'll, 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 you know, I'm lazy, I'll get to it. Um, but the gold is looking fine, the hammer's looking puffy. You know, I'm pretty happy with how things are going. Consider I've been pretty much hands off on the tank for about two, two and a half months. I just clean the glass, really. Um, not even change water, I just top it up. So, we, I don't know when last time we, we spoke was, but uh, we definitely did lose a bunch of fish for a really dumb accident. I did a water change, I forgot to turned the return pump back on for like 24 hours and uh, I lost two flame angels, a radiant ras and um, my two cherry antias. So that was, that was miserable, uh, but the AT didn't die, surprisingly. Um, so that was a very painful lesson because I was like, why is, why is it so quiet in the house? Then I realized that the return pump wasn't on. So that was a dumb, dumb mistake, very costly, dumb mistake, but could have been worse, could have been worse. Count of blessings. Uh, but other than that, the fish have been here for one year now, the black tang, the purple tang, and the fox face. I was kind of taking a look at some older photos, man, the fox face was tiny, and it is. It's pretty big now. Um, the black tang has been through a lot. There were a lot of ick things going on in the past over here, but now it's fine, it's jet black. I know some black tangs have a little, like, dusty mohawk along the back, but he's, like, jet black, and I'm really happy to see that. Um, I have a zebra tang as well. The zebra tang was maybe the size, like, I don't know, like this big. Now, when it if you come out later, it's about maybe like three times the size. So that's pretty fun to watch. The flamingi is also ginormous now. I'm, I'm sure you guys remember, I don't know who you guys remember that. We had them in a little ISO box here the last time and it is probably almost one, one and a half times bigger now. So yes, sorry for the absence from the channel. Uh, both me and, and, and our wonderful editor have been very busy with um, other things. Life, terrible work situations. Um, but, you know, uh, at the end of the day, we still enjoy the hobby a lot and we still want to talk about it. Um, so, welcome back. Hope, hope you're going to see us. We'll probably have a whole bunch of new videos for you coming out and we will continue to um, do so. Probably some LFS visits and seeing other people's tanks as well locally. And maybe a little bit more on... I think people have been asking for certain things like, oh, can you show how you... When you first set up a tank, how, how do you guys do it? Uh, yeah, we'd find to go through that too. So. Um, Stay tuned, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and thank you very much for coming back. Uh, remember to bring the bell for notifications, and cheers, man. Take care.